Okay, you're broke, you don't have a job, or you have a job and you just want to make some extra cash. This is what you do. You build a pie straw baler box. I guess that's what you call it. This didn't cost me anything to make. Well, I had to buy the screws. All this wood was just old scrap wood I had laying around. And I went on the internet and found a picture of one and I printed it out and just copied it. Um, you see, there's not a whole lot to it, but I'll walk around and give you an idea what it looks like. This is what you press the pine straw down with to pack it in. You could probably go on the internet and find some plans on how to build these things. But like I said, I just looked at a picture and did it. I didn't think it was very difficult to do. Um, and I'll just roll it around on the dolly like that. But yeah, basically it didn't cost me anything to build, just the screws. Okay, you're gonna need the twine. Um, you can pick this up at any hardware store. I think I got it at one of those farm feed stores. I guess where you go and get chicken feed and horse supplies and stuff like that. I think it was like $30 for a roll of this. And man, that's gonna last you forever. You could probably do a couple thousand bells with this. Okay, cut a piece off. I got this hook on the back. And all I'm gonna do is tie this. I haven't done this in probably over 10 years. I started doing this when I quit my job at the plant full time and decided to start doing lawn care. And I did good my first summer. And then when winter came, things slowed down. So I had to figure out a way to make money. So I built this thing and it got me through the winter months, made a lot of money. Just drop it down in there. Now right here in the front, I put some, some O-ring screws. And you don't wanna run it through the holes. You wanna put it down through the side between, between this piece of wood and that O-ring. It just holds it. There we go. See how I did that? That way when I get ready to pull the pine straw out of the baler, this will just, this will just pop right out of there. See, I'm doing the exact same thing on this side as I did on opposite. And I'm just gonna run this twine through, through that hole, close the door and lock it. Now I'm ready to start stuffing pine straw down in here. Now this didn't take me long to rake up. It probably took me 10 minutes to rake up that little pile of pine straw. You should be able to do at least 10 bales every hour. And you could sell each bale for anywhere from four to five dollars each. It's 
to whatever that is an hour. What's that? Probably between forty and fifty dollars an hour. And you can just post something on Facebook or Craigslist, and uh, and you can charge a delivery fee too if you want. Depending on how far you got to drive, if it's somewhere nearby, you can just charge twenty dollars to deliver. And if they want you to install the pastoral, add another four dollars for the labor cost to install it. So you figure you're looking at four dollars to sell the bill, another four dollars to lay it down. That's eight dollars per bill, anywhere from eight to ten dollars per bill. You can make a lot of money doing this. Okay, once you have the box filled up. Now you want to pack it down. Take the twine down at the bottom. Now you want to run it back in the box, but through the top of the bell. Now all you have to do is tie it. Just take that back piece, what you tied on that hook, and tie the two together. Okay, now that you have the twine tied, you can open up the door. And just cut off the long pieces. Makes it look a little bit more professional. There you go. Now you're probably like, now where do I get the pasture off from? Well, if you don't have land or, or if you don't know somebody that has a pine forest, you can just ride around town in neighborhoods or look at businesses. You find a lot of places that have pine trees in the yard. Just knock on the door and ask them if you can rake up their pine straw. As long as there isn't a bunch of hardwood trees around it, you don't want a bunch of trash all up in it. But I'll make a video of a couple places you can find. It's raining today, so I'm not working. I'm just riding around dropping off some invoices. And, uh, I'm not even trying to find any yards really with any pine trees in them. They're, they're everywhere. And uh, actually here's one. Here, look at all these pine trees. You wanna find the yards that don't really have a lot of hardwoods because you don't wanna be raking those leaves out of the pine straw. You want, you want clean pine straw. Like over here, that's all hardwoods. You don't want you don't want any of this pine straw over here. Over here, look at all this. These are all pine trees, so that's all clean. Man, look at all that. I mean, you got pine cones in there, but they don't take long to clean that up. Look, look at all those pine trees. That's a lot of money right there. Here, I found another one. It's another church. I just drove a couple miles down the road and found another one. See, look at all that. There's some leaves in that one. Look at all that pine straw. You had to clean it out a little bit. But I've noticed a lot of churches have a lot of pine 
pine trees, but this is all a short needle to short leaf. You can still make money off of it. You just have to sell it a little bit cheaper than long leaf. I know it doesn't look like much, but once you get in there and start raking it, you'll be surprised how much pine straw you can get. But let's drive down the road. I bet I can find a couple more places. And I'm not even trying, really. There's another one. I just drove maybe two minutes down the road from that church. And that's a long leaf pine tree there. Look at all that pine straw. That's a good one. Here, I just drove like one minute down the road from that last house. Here, look at all that pine straw. That's just to prove my point how easy it is to find pine straw. So there's no reason you can't make money. And actually, there's another spot up here, I think, with a bunch of pine straw. I think. Eh. Yeah, there's a little bit. There's some pine trees. That's all I'm on the video.